Okay, let's review math, grade 4, module 3, lesson 30. Multi-digit multiplication and division, topic G, division of thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. We're going to begin by dividing 804 into four groups. I'll do this by representing 804 first on my place value chart. So I, have, I know I have eight hundreds, so I'm going to draw eight number disks or dots in the hundreds place. I don't have any tens, so I'm going to move to my ones, and I'm going to draw my four dots to represent my four ones. Now I'm going to put my four groups down here. So what I'll do is I will draw a line through this hundred and I'll draw a line through four of the hundreds and I'm going to draw four hundreds down here and put them into groups. So my group will be a row. Then I'm going to take four more hundreds and move those into my groups. Now I have to look at my tens place. I don't have anything in my tens, so I'm going to leave that blank for now, and I'm going to come to my ones, and I will regroup or distribute these ones into my groups. So, now I have my groups. This is a group. Inside this group, I have two hundreds, zero tens, and one one. So let's come over here, now that we have our quotient, let's come over here and use the long division algorithm to solve this. I have 804 as my dividend. My divisor is 4, so I'm dividing 804 into 4 groups. I'll begin with the hundreds. Just as I did here, I'm going to take these 800s and put them into 4 different groups. I will get 2 hundreds in each group. 2 hundreds times 4 is 8 hundreds. When I subtract 800 minus 800, I get zero. Now I'm going to look at my tens place. In my tens place, I have zero tens. So I'm not going to be able to put any tens into my group. So I'm putting zero tens in my group. Zero times four is zero. And when I subtract, I get zero. Now I'm going to look at my ones place. I have four ones left. That means I will put one in each group. One times four is four. I will subtract and I get zero as a remainder. So my dividend, 804, was divided by my divisor, which was four, and I got my quotient, which was 201. Now let's try this number. We have 4,218 as our dividend and we're dividing it into three groups. So I'll begin by looking at my thousands place. I have four thousands. If I think about taking those four thousands and putting them into three groups, I would end up with one in each group. One times three is 3. When I subtract, I would get 1,000 left over. So if I want to do that up here, I'm putting three of these into the groups. So I'm going to cross out three of them. And I'm going to draw them down here. 
Now I have 1,000 left over. That's this 1,000. I'm going to regroup that and I'm going to take that 1,000 and decompose it and turning it into turning it into hundreds. I will have 10 hundreds. 10 hundreds plus the 2 hundreds that I had here would be 12. So if I have 12 dots and I were to put those into my groups, I would end up with 4 in each group because 4 times 3 is 12. So I wouldn't have any hundreds left scratch all those out. Now I move to my tens. I have one ten. So I'm going to draw that dot here. I have one ten here. Here's my one ten. I can't take this one ten and put it into this group because I wouldn't have another ten to put in this group and another one to put in this group. So instead I need to unbundle this 10 or I need to decompose this 10 and turn it into 1's. So I'm no longer going to have a 10 there, which means I'm not going to put any 10's into my group. So I'm putting 0 10's in my group. 0 times 3 is 0. When I subtract that, I still have my 110 left over, which I'm going to be putting over here. I had eight ones in my ones column. Now I'm putting in 10 more. So now, instead of having 110, I have 18 tens. If I take these 18 ones and separate them into my three groups, I would get 6 in each group because 6 times 3 is 18. And then I'm subtracting and I will have 0 as a remainder. So this group right here has in it 1,400, 0 tens, and 6 ones, which is the same as my quotient here, 1,406. Okay, that's going to take care of things for lesson 30, where we've been solving division problems with a zero in the dividend or a zero in the quotient. If you want to get, get a collection of all of the videos for module 3 and, and other fourth grade um, modules, you can go to tinyurl.com slash lpssmath4, the number 4. That will give you a link to my on-course website. Also, um, we have the videos in another place. If you go to our um, lpssonline.com, hover over Parent Command Center and scroll down to Math Resources, you can click on 4th grade and you can get our newsletter. Right now we're working on Topic G. The newsletter will help define some of the terms we use um, in this module and also if you scroll down to the bottom of that page with the newsletters on it, you can get to our other videos.